Hello everybody, welcome to Rubin's Rambles, the series where I, Nathan Rubin, am accompanied by one lucky guest to explore a new location of our great British Isles. Today we are in my town of residence and Welsh capital, Cardiff. I'm joined by friend, colleague and Welshman, Alad Nelms. I'm good. How are you, Alad? Very well, very well. Thank you very well. Yeah, well, thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. We're in our surrogate hometown, is that fair? Yeah, it's it's definitely our sort of... Uh, I always say I was I was made in Wales, but uh, but created in Cardiff. Yeah, yeah. I was born in London, yeah, but I was it. made in Cardiff. Yeah. So for our first stop, we're going to hit up the Cardiff Castle. Have you ever been? Uh, I've been once when I was little, and I absolutely loved it. Great, but you should have said, no, I've never been before. In the heart of the city lies Cardiff Castle, one of the main attractions of the capital. We start our journey in the Roman Chariot Corner. This mural was commissioned by the Cardiff City Council and was completed in 1983. It shows scenes of men at work in the armory and the gathering of cilios to ward off the intruders. So how, how do they how do they do this? This one? Yeah. We well, just sort of, sort of bend <laughs> like that, really. Yeah. yeah, not quite, but like Oh you mean how do they make it? Yeah. Oh right, of course. No, I think they, they melt some kind of sort of bronzy material and they we gotta stop rubbing we go bronzy material. It's just so touchable, so <laughs> Here we are, Cardiff Castle. How are you enjoying it, Alan? Oh yeah, no, it's good, really good. It, it's one of those places that if you if you grow up in Wales, it's always one of those clean, you know, those classic school trip yeah. locations. But I can't say I've been since since I was in primary school. A lot a lot has changed, which is lovely. So there's a very popular tale about the uh, Welsh dragon. Great joke. I know, I know, I know. But there actually is. Okay, right. okay let's <laughs> <hear it. laughs> There actually is one. Wow. This isn't just a well-placed pun. Yeah, yeah. Let, oh, I'm excited. Oh, well, yeah. So, obviously, there's a reason there's not a white dragon on the on the English flag. Okay. That's because the tale goes that the Welsh dragon beat the white English dragon oh. uh, in, a, in a battle, so we deserved it on our flag, and right. therefore have uh, what the Guardian ranked the top most uh, interesting flag in the world. on top of the world. We next head to the Norman Keep. The 12-sided keep at Cardiff is the finest in Wales and is known as a shell keep. It's called that because the outer walls provide a shell for the smaller buildings within it. Thanks CardiffCastle.com Castle apartments paint the scene of a Victorian medieval dream world. It really is like stepping into a fantasy book, if you're into that kind of thing. No, you know what's happening here, don't you? Go on. So, the one angel saying the other one, Mate, what are you doing hanging over there? He goes, don't worry, I'm just winging it. Awful. This is great, great, great uncle, great, great, great granddad, okay. great, great, great auntie, great, great aunt, and then great, great, great uncle aunt. He was, you know, non binary. Yeah.
feeling like I was stuck in an after lunch history lesson, we finish up our time in the castle and plan where to go next. Well, I think we've had a lovely time at the castle, but should we head down to the bay? It's, it's been a blast. Um... <laughs> it has. <laughs> Feeling the breeze of the Cardiff air on the back of my head, we strolled through the lovely Butte Park, eager to get a ferry to Cardiff Bay. If walking, getting the train or the bus really just isn't for you, why not take a ferry? You've got a choice of a different boat every half an hour, and it's quite a nice 20 minute ride to get to the bay. Cardiff Bay is recognised as one of the most successful regeneration projects in the United Kingdom. In 1999, the bay had some new life injected into it and is now one of the best places to go in Cardiff. Ahoy there! Ahoy there, mate! Did you enjoy the journey? I did enjoy the journey. I've done it a few times and it's it's pretty special every time. Yeah, yeah. First time for me, so it was it was a pleasure to share it with you. Oh, it? mate, what can I say? <laughs> it was it was beautiful. So you live in the bay, so you maybe know more than me. But apparently, this is a um, shrine to a fictional alien from Torchwood who saved the Earth. It is true. It is true. So this is one of the only places where the world has been saved fictionally. Yes. I'll say actually, if you were, if you ever to go back and watch watch Torchwood, this is actually quite a significant spot, which is quite nice. Right. And then when you come here, you'll you'll recognise it, which right. is cool. Yeah, I, I won't watch it. Right, so we've got our Welsh cakes, traditional. Yep, let's, traditional, let's, real traditional. deal. Let's, let's have a go. Well, I say that because a traditional, we've got three different types of Welsh cake here. And anyone Welsh watching this will go, there's actually no such thing as types of Welsh cake. A Welsh cake is a Welsh cake, which should have currants in it. Mm. Which one have you gone for? White chocolate. See, that... I wasn't waiting for you to finish your Yeah, that speech. was that was quite Sorry. rude. Um, <laughs> I'm going from... I think, I think I'm just going to go for a traditional one. Now... Normally you get them in a packet and they're really like kind of mm. hard and tough, but these are nice and soft. Mm. They're very warm. Yeah, that's a traditional. Ooh. Half yours has gone down. So we're outside the Wales Millennium Centre. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's marvellous. It's stunning, it's stunning, it really is. It was, it was one of the main buildings which was part of the sort of revival of Cardiff Bay mm -hmm. in sort of the early noughties to make it a tourist destination and they did a good job. Yeah, they did. I mean, and there's loads to do, you know, you can see opera, theatre, musicals, you know, comedy, you said there was conferences. Yeah, yeah. yeah even lot. conferences here yeah. as well. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. We take a short stroll and then arrive at the pier head which Alad tells me is where they track, or they used to track, all the, all the shipping and things like that. Yeah, any, any imports or exports used to like always come through here, sort of back in the day. Uh, I don't think they do any more though. No, no. Might track the odd Welsh cake maybe. <laughs> those, those have gone, they've all gone. Yeah, they've gone, there's none to track. <laughs> We're here at the National Assembly, better known as the Sarneth. The Sarneth. <laughs> this is the, uh, the pinnacle of Welsh independence here, like the... Yeah, it doesn't, we don't get more independent than, than here. Absolutely not. No, we've never, 
<laughs> this is this is really the peak of 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 Welsh, you know, border. I'm not going to try and top that accent. That was an amazing <laughs> accent. Thank you very much. Thank you. I had a lovely time in the day. It was nice. Yeah, it's nice to see, but I think we should head back into town. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm hungry. Do you want lunch? I would love lunch. Always in the mood. I'm spending lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Alad, mm. you had a fact about the walkway that we're I on. Did, I did. I thought, I'm unsure about it now. Okay. But yeah, so we're here in uh, St. John's Gardens, and they wanted to basically build a path through the cemetery so bad for the planning of the town um, that they had to build on top of people's graves, which is mm. why you can see the numbers here, and over there there'll be names all along the pathway, right, right. Um, because obviously they can't just can't just build on top of, of yeah. graves, so they... They did that. I can imagine that this person getting quite confused whether the yes, you know dearly beloved is is yeah. buried under sixty six or ninety nine. the Cardiff Arcades which really highlight the independence and just show the lovely nature of the city really. It's known as the city of arcades as our cameraman said. <laughs> it is known yeah. No the, the arcades really is the kind of the deeper part of, of what Cardiff is and if, you, if you're looking for that alternative city experience mm. they're kind of they're almost like that deeper vein of Cardiff. Known as the City of Arcades, Cardiff has seven Victorian and Edwardian arcades nestled amongst the city centre. Housing over a hundred independent cafes, bars and shops right in the heart of the city, the arcades offer a truly unique shopping experience. We arrive at the lovely local restaurant Madame Fromage, chosen by Alad. You excited for a spot of lunch, Alad? I can't wait. I'm very excited for a spot of lunch. This was your suggestion in the arcades, I've never heard of it. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, the arcades are one of my favourite places to go, so I really hope it uh, lives up to the hype. I hope so. I'm looking forward to my baguette. I can't wait. <laughs> so we've got our food. I have to say, it looks great. It's really good. It's rather aesthetic, isn't it? It is. It's, 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 it's quite aesthetic. the banquet. Yeah, I'm really excited. Can we do a baguette cheers? We can do a baguette cheers. Let's do that. I might get a bit of brie on you. Yeah. That's all good. That's Ooh, all good. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers, mate. After having some lovely lunch, we had to do what Cardiff's best known for, drinking. We had to local cocktail bar mocha lounge, which was absolutely bustling at 4pm on a Sunday. Of course. Basically a smoothie. <laughs> cheers, Alex. That's very it's nice. Pleasure. Cheers, mate. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. 
after a fun yet exhausting day in our new hometown, we finish off the adventure. Even for local residents like ourselves, it really was a good day out, and I'd recommend the city to anyone. Thank you for watching Rubin's Rambles, we hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you next time for the next adventure. <laughs>